Exploring the uncharted waters of open ocean energy extraction, the turbofoil family of innovation is opening up a whole new class of energy production. People have been trying to harness the extraordinary power of the oceans for a very long time. In fact, we've barely begun, for the energy available is truly unfathomable. Efforts to capture wind are moving forward. Systems to tap waves and tides are being developed. But there is so much more available if we could untie our systems from shorelines and explore energies available from the three quarters of the earth covered by water that will be with us as a naturally renewable source of energy forever. Hydroelectric turbine technology is well established around the world. In the U.S., 97% of renewable energy is produced by hydroelectric means. It operates at 90% efficiency and is the least expensive renewable source for energy. However, its land-based development faces significant challenges. If we could take a good-sized turbine and put it out to sea, if we could simply mount a sail on it and propel it out into the ocean, that would be amazing. If we could direct it to high winds, the yields grow exponentially. We would need to store the energy in some kind of battery and ideally just set it loose. Of course, we'd need a sturdy boat. If we could add a system to guide our open ocean wind-driven turbine into good winds, then this would be a great advantage. Being unmanned, the design is dramatically simplified. If we had lots of these and then somehow delivered the energy where it was needed, these free-roaming ocean energy harvesters could be an interesting new renewable energy source. All we'd need to do is do it. Well, IPTC is doing it, and plans to create fleets of vessels to do exactly that. Already the key to high-performance sailboats and the most advanced military vessels, hydrofoils as well, are at the heart of the IPTC approach. IPTC has patented the design of incorporating hydroelectric turbines into the hydrofoil itself. Thus, the turbofoil is born. It incorporates this basic design into specially designed unmanned craft. It has developed and patented a SCADA control system to remotely control the operation and navigation of its vessels to high wind areas, then directs our harvesters to mother ships, which deliver to existing clients or to the best spot market ports through its premier patented path cost algorithm. IPTC plans to have four classes of vessels to maximize profitability and operational efficiency. Our Class I vessels will be our basic energy vessel, incorporating the turbine and storage into an unmanned machine, directed to areas of moderate winds by the SCADA that boasts an algorithm that optimizes energy extraction using yield functions derived from weather and geospatial data and vessel performance models. Our Class II vessels are high-performance vessels, specially designed to operate in high wind areas, approaching hurricane outlier winds, guided by the patented SCADA remote control system. Directed to high wind areas, they are custom crafted to produce and store commodities, including pure hydrogen derived from its onboard hydrogen electrolyzers and compressed or stored in a hydride. Pure oxygen, lye, bleach, desalinated or distilled water, sea salt, or any mineral or chemical electrochemically isolated from seawater, and then deliver them to IPTC collection vessels or ports. Our Class III vessels will be highly adaptable cogeneration vessels fitted with high-efficiency concentrated thermal solar systems reactors to synthesize, store, and deliver commodities such as ammonia or other thermal solar products all by remote control from the SCADA and under human management. 
In high sun areas, they can serve as delivery systems for offshore wind farms or commissioned to deploy with commercial or military fleets as source and backup energy systems. Our Class IV vessels will be the storage and delivery motherships, which onload and exchange unitized containers or transfer energy or products from Class I, II, and III vessels for delivery to ports based on contracts or spot markets as determined by SCADA markets analysis and client control. Besides being a first effective automated open ocean energy and resource recovery system, the IPTC approach has many impressive advantages. The entire system is effectively endlessly upscalable to form fleets of vessels for deployment throughout the global market space. The system is organic, responsive to short and long-term market fluctuations. As markets demand, fleets rapidly deploy to meet demand. As markets decline, fleets can be downscaled to port until needed. Manufacture and maintenance of the fleet is done onshore in a predictable and controlled environment. Unlike existing offshore systems, which often require high-risk installation and maintenance at the mercy of high wind and wave events. Operating often beyond territorial waters, they are not bound by the rigid demands of regulatory control and consequent delays inherent in existing renewable energy systems. The open nature of the IPTC delivery system overcomes the added cost and constraints of interfacing with already stretched grid systems. Delivery on demand overcomes the intermittency of existing fixed-site solar and wind installations. Conforming to existing shipping designs, they are not affected by the NIMBY factor of land-based and offshore developments. Moving forward, it will not get locked into any one energy market, essentially forming a global, open-grid system of energy production and delivery. And perhaps most importantly, the IPTC Global Renewable Energy Fleets offer an almost unlimited potential to harness the unfathomable energy and resources of wind and ocean waters in a manageable, expandable, utility-scale, open-grid system to meet the needs of the advancing global, economic, and social order. My name is Andy Gazar. I am the founder and chief engineer of Integrated Power Technology Corporation. This is obviously a very large-scale project, and even a large-scale multinational might be stretched as far as a, a development budget for this. Therefore, I very much entertain the opportunity to talk to a number of different uh, providers, uh, people in various fields of use of the industry, for instance, turbine makers versus shipbuilders versus uh, weather aggregation sites. Uh, uh, many of the, the disciplines uh, in the various fields of use that this, this patent covers, I'd like uh, many uh, corporations to take a look at this and see where their products could fit in and perhaps uh, uh, create a consortium of people interested in creating this sort of offshore mobile uh, structure for energy recovery. I'd be very interested to follow up with any, anyone who finds this interesting. And my website is www.intpowertechcorp. That's I-N-T-P-O-W-E-R-T-E-C-H-C-O-R-P.com. Intpowertechcorp.com will uh, provide you information about uh, more detail on, on these mobile structures and the supervisory control and data acquisition system that remotely controls them. And you can also contact me by email. Uh, my email is andy.gizara, that's G-I-Z-A-R-A, -A, at intpowertechcorp, that's I-N-T-P-O-W-E-R-T-E-C-H-C-O-R-P.com. Thanks.